I get it, I get it. You're new to kayaking and you want just one kayak that you could use to take you and your wife with you fishing or maybe you and your kid fishing. You just want one kayak. So you're thinking, wow, I could just get a two person or three person kayak and that'll be all. Like I could get one of those that you have a sit in the middle and the front and one in the back and you could just go by yourself in the middle or you could take everybody with you fishing and it's gonna be a wonderful experience and everyone will be happy. Nope, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way because look, coordination. If you are new to this sport and you have a paddle in your hands and the person in front of you had some other paddle, you guys are gonna hit each other when you're paddling. If you do your stroke with the right blade and the other person does the same thing, you may hit the other person. You know, so there's no coordination. Look, <laughs> there's a reason why these kayaks are called the divorce kayak. Because, yeah, people people get into fights, for real. Let's say you want to go to the right, the other person is going to the left. And, it, like, if you don't have the knowledge on how to paddle a kayak properly, you may be trying to go to the right, but actually you're doing the opposite. And then the other person is fighting you. Oh, how come you stop paddling? Oh, how come you're not pulling to the right? What, what's going on? Yeah. Could be a big problem so solution don't buy one or if you do need to buy a tandem kayak well get one with a pedal drive system for example there's a few options you got the feel free lure 2 tandem you have one drive and two seats there's no fighting there because the driver is going to be doing the propelling and you're going to control the boat with the rudder the duo the compass duo from hobby $3,000 I think it is, maybe $3,100, you get two drive, go really fast with the person in front of you and you on the back with the drive and there is no problem because you're not going to be fighting each other with the paddles. Or, or you could just get like a tandem kayak and put a motor in the rear and control it from the rear. No paddling, no fight. Something very important, please don't do this. Do not get like a large kayak, like the Titan 13 or something like that with the idea that you're gonna use those kayaks as a tandem kayak. I bought the Titan 13 with that idea in mind and guess what, it didn't work. It didn't work because it was too much weight, too much water was coming in, the boat was really slow, was really hard to steer, it didn't work. Now you guys have seen me taking my son out on the Outspider 136. Now, that, that is different because that's a huge boat. It's 13 feet and six inches long, right? It is super wide at 37. It has a motor in the front, and then it has a huge tank well, and my son is 10. But if he was bigger, if he was like maybe 12, maybe 14 years old, I don't think it's gonna work as good. You could try it, but it's not designed to do that. So, lesson number one, get a kayak that is designed to be a tandem kayak and if you're gonna do that buy one with a drive system or set up some kind of motor or something like that because if you just get a paddle kayak and you're new to the sport and you don't know what you're doing you're just asking for trouble so please don't don't do what i did <laughs> don't get your first kayak to be a tandem kayak paddle kayak because you're going to take your whole family with you and it never is going to it's not gonna happen and even if you do take it one time it's not gonna work so don't make my mistakes don't make the same mistakes that I did you know if you want to take your family kayaking maybe get three kayaks if you're three if you're two get two different kayaks it's, it's maybe better or just get the duo get one with the pedal drive trust me I think you're gonna thank me later for sure